So you just sold your item on eBay, now what? Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to ship on eBay for beginners. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously package your items. So I'm gonna give you guys some examples of packing small items, medium items, and large items. After that, you're gonna to have to get the weight of the package after you put it in its poly bag or box. Then you have to enter the weight and the dimensions on eBay. Follow these steps and you'll be shipping on eBay in no time. All right, so let us start by trying to package up our little VCR here. Secure it this way. Again, I'm just gonna line it up with some newspaper because it just needs some form of cushioning. So this is what it is currently looking like. I mean, it's a bunch of newspaper, but under it, there's gonna be bubble wrap. This paper, this newspaper is just gonna be trying to keep it from moving around in the package. So that's what it's for. So this is the scale I will be using for this particular video. This is actually a food scale that works really well for small packages like games and such. So if you guys would like to purchase this particular scale, there'll be a link to it in the description below. I also have a more high-end scale for bigger packages that has the weight capacity of I think around 150 pounds, which I would recommend if you were trying to sell bigger items like VCRs, DVD players, glassware, heavy antiques, etc but this works well for a bunch of the lighter items, so I'm just gonna put the package on here. So as you can see, it is 4.27 ounces. Now, I can't just enter into eBay that this is four ounces because this is heavier than four ounces, so you always want to round up. The lowest number I would put is five ounces, but like I said earlier, it's increments of four is how they do their pricing. I'll explain more about that as I'm entering it into eBay, but just keep in mind, 4.27 ounces. All right, so we are currently on our desktop and we're about to print off the shipping label. So when you sell an item, it will be under your notification bell over here. As you can see today, I sold Tony Hawk Underground for the PlayStation 2. So I'm gonna click on it and it'll bring me to this page. So I sold the item for $8.99 and the seller actually paid for shipping. They paid $4.49. So as you can see here, you can enter in your dimensions of the package. Now this section doesn't matter too much for packages under a pound. So under 16 ounces, it doesn't matter. So I don't usually bother with this section for items under a pound. My main concern is the weight. So as you can see here, the total cost of the shipping label is $3.22. And this package weighs 4.27 ounces, I believe, somewhere around there. So like I said, if I were to just input five ounces, the cost would still be $3.22. That's why I like entering it in increments of four because if I change it from five ounces to eight ounces, the price is still the same. However, if I jump from eight ounces to nine ounces, at this point it went up from 322 to 388. Now again, the increments of four, so if I go to 12 ounces, it's still gonna be that 838 number. So we're gonna go back down to eight ounces because that's the closest to my item. I can't do four ounces even though the pricing will be so much less. So if you could sell anything under four items, the shipping is gonna be insanely cheap. But since it is 4.27 ounces, I have to round up and go to at least five, but I'm just gonna bump it up to eight because the pricing is still exactly the same as five ounces. So after you have everything entered in, if you're worried about this dimension field, you could feel free to enter in your dimensions. Like if you want to measure your actual package, feel free to do so. But at this point in time, I'm not gonna do it for my package. So we're gonna click on purchase and print label. And then this field should pop up just to pay for the shipping with PayPal and you could choose your preferred method of payment. And like I said earlier, it's still 322. I'm gonna click on pay now just to 
print out the shipping label and obviously for this section you're going to need a printer i have a thermal printer that i'll link in the description below for more advanced sellers but if you were just starting off i'd recommend just using the printer in your house print it on normal printing paper cut out the shipping label and tape it onto the package. If you guys would like to support this channel for free, feel free to click on one of my Amazon affiliate links down below and you could purchase anything on Amazon within 24 hours of clicking the link and I'll get a little kickback at no cost to you. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys lit up.